Yo, what's going on guys? This is the fourth gen gamer here bringing you guys some more Pokemon Y randomizer wonderlock and today We are going to be doing the elite Four portion of the Pokemon League and I'll show you guys the party I'll show you guys the plan and everything that's gonna be going. I think we're gonna get some cli uh, Quick dialogue from uh, one of the members like the fire type lady or whatever uh, I'm pretty sure right. Yeah, this lady was her name Malva, right? I think her name's Malva Right, I did do uh, all the items and stuff off screen by the way. I sold all our revives that we did get along the way and uh, bought a couple more, you know, medicine items, but um, I think we really needed them. But I mean, hey, yeah, what else would we buy in this and buy in this let's play, you know? So I will show you guys the party though, a nice party update since it is the uh, one of the final episodes. The next episode should be the last one. We do have Gardevoir level 68 with Thunderbolt, Psychic, Calm Mind, and Dazzling Gleam. Greninja level 71 with Extra Sensory, Night Slash, Surf, and Ice Beam. Tyrantar level 61 with Crunch, Earthquake, Power Up Punch, and Rock Slide. Semi Sage level 71 with Power Up Punch, uh, Bite, Seed Bomb, and Grass Knot. Charger level 74 with Fly, Dragon Rage, Slash, and Flamethrower. Ampharos level 48 uh, with Power Gem, Strength, Thunderbolt, and Toxic. Probably won't be able to use it too much. Maybe it'll be more like a Death Father Pokemon, but you know what? Oh well. Now let's take a look quickly if there's any cool items. Uh, hey, maybe make some Pokemon flinch. Why not? Give it to Charizard. We have it. Let's give it, you know? Um, let's see. Any other cool little TMs or anything that we want to teach? Um, don't think there's really much. I think that's about it. Tyranitar can learn a good amount of moves, um, like Ice Beam and Thunderbolt, but it's not really like a special attacking Pokemon, so I'm not going to teach that to him. Uh, this is the Blazing Chamber. We're going to go for that. Why not? Greninja should be able to take care of this uh, easily, I would hope, really, because of that uh, Surf. That should be very nice. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to see how that does. Um, this is the Malva lady that we were just talking to, and uh, pretty much we're going to do this in one episode. The Elite Four in one episode, and then, like I said, next episode will be the finale, hopefully with um, Diance, Diantha, Diantha, whatever her name is. <laughs> And uh, the AZ stuff, so. Anyway, yeah, this should be hopefully not too bad, because Greninja is really nice and uh, awesome and also very overleveled, so we should be looking pretty good, um, I would think. <laughs> All these Elite Four members only have four Pokemon. You can do them in any order as you please, which uh, I would think a lot of you would know that, so for those of you that didn't, there you go. And uh, I think they go up to level 65. I think that's the highest that they go in the Elite Four. The champion does go higher, though. So this is the fire type um, Elite Four. Remember, they're representing that fire dope. We should be able to outspeed, I would hope, everybody because we are so overleveled and just a fast Pokemon in general, unless they have some type of priority move. But um, I would think this is going to be really easy. Just spam Surf, and we should be looking pretty good. Um, but anyway, yeah, we do have Talonflame. This could be a threat, though. If this has Gale Wings, which I would think it does, um, and it's a little higher leveled, this might outspeed us, actually. Uh, let's see. No, it doesn't have Gale Wings. Or at least it wasn't using a flying type move. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't move. A, wasn't using a flying type move. I can't get my words straight. <laughs> All right, so yeah, that's very good, very good. And for level 49, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we have Torkoal. Torkoal is a little annoying because uh, it is pretty bulky. However, I think it uh, won't be able to tank a Surf from us. I doubt it, at least. And after this, we have a Chandelure, and then we'll be done with this member already. We're not even like four minutes in. I gave a good party update too. So it's not like we've been doing this battle the whole time by any means. Probably been in this battle for a good minute maybe. Minute and a half. So yeah. This is already the last Pokemon of uh, this member. This has been pretty easy so far. And uh, if we can one hit this, that would really be awesome. Yeah, there we go. So all the four members in this I'm pretty sure have three level 63s and then one level 65. So that's really not bad when you look at our levels. We're looking really good, really nice and OP. <laughs> Although we only have like five Pokemon that are really viable, because uh, Ampharos really isn't at that level of uh, battling for us. It's just like maybe a good eight or nine levels off of actually being able, being able to contribute, you know? But it really isn't worth grinding, because I don't think they really need it, you know? But yeah, that's that Elite Four member out of the way. Now we get to head off and uh, pick your poison. See what we want to do. Let's see what's over here. And it is the Ironworks Chamber. This is going to be a job for Charizard. Hopefully he can do the job. It's level 74, so that's even more OP than the Greninja was. So uh, it doesn't have protein or anything fancy like that, but I don't think it will need it. Because it has that powerful flamethrower, so it should be able to take out um, these Pokemon pretty easily. And the effect of 
Protean is stab, and we already have stab, so that's not really an issue in this case. But uh, let's check out this guy. I forget his name, actually, but um, I don't know. Hopefully, it'll be on the easier side. Definitely an interesting type, a Steel-type Elite Four member. I think that's like the first ever, I'm pretty sure. Uh, definitely uncommon as a Gym Leader or Elite Four member, really. Not really uh, represented too much. It's just not really a, like a common type, but in this game, they have a couple different cool Steel types with Age of Slash and Klefki. Uh, they definitely do give it some justice, especially since they added the Fairy type in which one of its only weaknesses are, you know, you have Poison and then you have Steel, so, you know, I guess it's one of the reasons why it's here, you know? If you ran through a game with a fairy type and that's like your most OP Pokemon, like we had Gramble and XY to Leglock, it's something to counter it, you know? But anyway, we do have this Clefki, which can be annoying. If it has Prankster, it's gonna use some bitch ass move, but um, I guess it is not using a bitch ass move. That is the one hit KO. Um, yeah, I guess this Elite Four is uh, gonna be a lot easier than I thought. I thought it would be a little more challenging than uh, it is right now, but. Um, you know, I'm gonna go with Simi Sage. I'm gonna go for a power up punch because uh, Pearl Pass is rock and steel type. Uh, and rock is really dangerous, obviously, with Charizard. So, uh, power up punch should be four times super effective, which is really good. <laughs> um, wow, it didn't do anything though. Uh, let's see. Flash Cannon. Ah, uh, that shouldn't. Okay, it didn't do a lot. And you know what? Flash, uh, power up punch should kill it now because we do have that attack boost. So. That's bueno, and the Provo Pass is out of here. Cool. So, didn't take too much damage there. That's okay. It's the first time that we even took damage in this whole Elite Four shindig. <laughs> and Ampharos level 50, that's cool. And now Scizor, Scizor, uh, that should be really easy with a Flamethrower, because uh, that's four times super effective. So, uh, that shouldn't be a problem at all. Uh, we're just running through this shit, really. Hopefully, uh, the champion shouldn't be a problem, but, um, like I said before, that'll be next episode. I probably could fit into this episode, but the thing is, then we have AZ, so then, like, if I do the champion, then I pretty much have to do AZ. So, like, it would just make it, like, a potentially really long episode. So, anyways, uh, Charizard level 75. Ooh, three quarters of the way to 100. Obviously, you know, the XP, it takes longer as you grow, but, you know, damn. Alright, since Age of Slash is going to be a little troublesome, but... I think that we can take it out in one shot. I don't know. We'll see. Age Slash is just a little annoying. Um, ah, shit. Yeah, we weren't able to do it. We were not able to do it. Uh, let's see. Shadow Claw. Okay. Yeah, okay. That did a good amount of damage, but nothing crippling. Uh, four Star, really, dude? That was unnecessary. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got the Flamethrower. And, wow, that time... Oh, yeah, because now it was in the Blade form, so... Uh, its defense is much lower. It's really frail when it's in that blade form. Guard roll level 69. That's excellent because we're going to be wanting that uh, when we get to the water type guy with um, and the dragon type guy. So that's actually really good because uh, we have uh, Thunderbolt with that. Thunderbolt with... Um... <sighs> Can't think of the name right now. <laughs> Thunderbolt with Gardevoir. We were just talking about him. Uh, let's just go for a quick heal up on uh, our pokes. We got Charizard, and we got Simi Sage. I think that for the Dragon-type guy, we're going to lay off with uh, Tyranitar for that uh, Dragalge, because that has, like, Sludge Bomb or something, and that can really be dangerous for our Gardevoir. Uh, yeah, so we'll lead off with our Tyranitar. Yeah, we're going to use our Tyranitar. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, we're going to put it to use. Um, It might die, but I don't know. I, I just don't have confidence in my pokes sometimes um, when they're around the level mark. Like, the other Pokemon, I don't have a problem with. But, um, Tyranitar is just around that level mark, just below it, actually. So, uh, the Grudge should be level 63, and we're level 62 with the Tyranitar. But with Earthquake, I think we'll be looking pretty good. Hopefully it doesn't have Levitate. I, it looks like Pokemon that might have that, but, hey, you know what? We're taking a risk. It's all good. Um, actually, no, fuck it. I think I might go for a Rock Time move, because we have the Hearthstone. So, you know what? Yeah, fuck it. I'll go with, um, Rock Slide. See how that does. Because, like I said, I have the Hard Stone, or whatever the name of that uh, item is. So, that'll boost the amount of damage that does. And plus the stab, you know? Yeah. It's going to be looking good. So, this is Drazna, the Dragon Type Elite Four member. And uh, this should be pretty easy with Gardevoir. Just like I said, Dragalge can be a little, you know, iffy because of that poison typing. Definitely adds it to the whole curveball to the whole thing. But, um, yeah, it's level 63. Going to throw up the Sand Stream, uh, the Sandstorm from that. 
And yeah, let's see how Rock Slide does. Uh, yeah, we do get to attack first, which is awesome. And let's see. All right, that puts it to... Oh, shit, has Surf. Ooh. Wow, we tanked that, though. And that was a crit. Wow. Wow. That is insane right there. Tyranitar come through. Thank God it's not rock ground. That's what uh, Pupitar was. But damn, Tyranitar just said, uh, Surf, that was even a crit. And I'm, I'm, not, I'm still going to tank it like I'm a boss. Like, wow. That was excellent, Tyranitar. Holy shit. I'm impressed right now. I'm legitimately impressed. That is very, very awesome. Wow. How do we even do that? We were a level below it, and that was a crit. I would think that, that would be like an easy one hit KO. I know that we were part dark type, but still, holy shit. Uh, oh shit, retaliate. <sighs> okay, that was a crit. Wow, that sandstorm is about to be our, like... Wow. You know, I'm gonna go for... I'm gonna go for, uh... Hyper Potion only because... <laughs> we're gonna, like, get killed from the sandstorm after this turn. Um, so... I, I mean, I don't know if we would, but I don't want to take any chances. Uh, wow. This battle's been interesting so far. <laughs> Full of some interesting stuff. Wow. What do you know? Man, that retaliate, that crit though. <laughs> that crit though. I don't even know what I would do. Actually, I do have uh I do have what's its name? Uh I do have Greninja. Yeah, see that didn't even do a lot. Uh, I do have a Greninja with uh, Ice Beam for Dragon types as a backup, but uh wow. And you're gonna go for that again. Holy motherfucking shit. I hate you right now. I hate this bitch. <sighs> what an asshole. You know, I'm not even going for another Dazzling Claim. I want to save the rest of those. I'm going for a Psychic. Fuck everything. <laughs> Alright, Drudigon's finally out of here. Hopefully this bitch doesn't have any more 4 stars. I don't know why she would have any more. She already used like 2 or 3 of them. Haven't been counting, so I don't know. Uh, signal Beam. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of Toxic, I guess. I don't know. Whew, I don't know. We're, we're level 50. What? That was 51 that we just grew? So, I mean, eh. Maybe we'll be able to do a little some shit with it, but I don't think we even need it. Uh, so Altaria, I'm going back out to Greninja so we can uh, use that amazing Ice Beam. Get that four times super effective because, uh, ooh, uh, the getting is good when you get that four times super effective. All right, plus the Protean, no chance, come on. Altaria is, like, done. <laughs> Before I even use the move, before I even press the button, it is just done. All right, so now what's the ace of this bitch again? I completely forget. It's Gudra, right? Maybe? Actually, I don't even know if it's Scudra, because the champion has Scudra. I don't know if they would double up on that. Uh, same stage level 73. That's excellent for the water type guy. I know it's a Noivirn. You know what? Fuck it. We still have four times super effective with Ice Beam. You would think that Guard War would be like the star of this battle, but eh. <laughs> Not exactly. It's going to be Greninja. Not bad. Wow. The game's kind of stupid for adding in two Dragon Flying types into the LA4 member, because if you have a nice type move like Ice Beam, it's just like, it's too easy. Alright, so now we should have one more Elite 4 member, then we'll call it an episode, and the next episode will be the finale! Ah, uh, crazy. I'm not doing any post-game shit. don't think that's uh, an idea here. <laughs> We're not doing that. Whew. Excuse me. Alright. So now we got the Water-type guy left. I think I shall lead off with... I think I'm going to lay off at the Gardevoir. See how that goes with Thunderbolt. And, yeah, we'll take it from there. Take it from there. Um, let's see. What's up? Um, what's she even talking about? It's not like we beat everybody. Once you beat everybody, then the person walks up to you like that, like what she just did, and tells you, oh, you're ready to face the champion, yada, yada, yada. But uh, that's a little bit odd that she just told us something. I, I don't know, I didn't read it, so... I'm a dumbass, but... Alright, let's check out the Flood Chamber. This is the uh, last Elite Four member. Hopefully we can do this without losing any Pokemon. And then we'll be walking into the champion with a very good-looking team. Hopefully we should be able to beat her pretty easily. Alright, so this is my favorite. Look at this. This looks so cool. Ah, uh, save the best for last, the presentation-wise. Oh, I love it. It just looks so majestic and just... Ah! Oh. Yeah... Oh, it just looks so cool. I love it. Ah. So amazing. Looks just so beautiful. So beautiful. 
All right, this guy's like Seabold or something, right? That like just hit me now. I don't know why. I, I forgot the whole time, but yeah. Got some water right here, actually. Let me drink some of the water. That was some good water. That was some good water. All right, Seabold, right? Was that your name? It is Seabold. All right, I see you, boy. I see you. All right, Claude, sir. All right, shouldn't be too much of a problem. It has that ability Mega Launcher, which uh, could be a little dangerous. However, if we attack first, we should be able to one-hit it, I would think, uh, with Thunderbolt, because we are very powerful. And uh, we're six levels higher, yada, yada, yada. And we can. That was crit. I don't know if we would have been able to hit it without the crit. Not sure. But, uh, hey, I'll take it. I will take it. Uh, Stone Edge. Ooh. Ooh. All right. I see you. Learning that Stone Edge. <laughs> and what the fuck? God damn it. I, I'm sorry. My, like, screen just completely messed up for a second. Uh, it should be back to normal now, but, like, uh, I don't know what the hell that was. Sorry about that. <laughs> just saw some random Smash stuff on my desktop. Uh, Super Smash Bros. for 3DS has been phenomenal. Uh, it's been fun. I don't want to say phenomenal. They don't have a story in it, which pissed me off, but it's been fun. Give me a story in it, though. <laughs> All right. Now, uh, wow, well, Charger level six, uh, 76. Oh, man. Uh, Barbicle. This is a Jabber Semi Sage that four times super effective, but that Rock and Water type, though? Come on. Seed Bomb. Easy. Easy Seed Bomb. Is that level 65? Yeah, that's the ace. Should not be a problem at all. Come on now. Seed Bomb. Take this Seed Bomb. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. All right, very good. And for soul 52, and we got one poke left, right? It is a Starmie. You know, let's stay out. Let's see if we can do this. Thing. See if we can do this. Ten levels higher. Let's uh, let's go with that seed bomb though. One hit it. Let's go, Simi Sage. For all the people that said that you sucked, there we go. Everybody that said Simi Sage sucks and they doubted them and said use Quilladin. Guess what? Simi Sage is in the house taking down that Starmie and that Barbacle like it's nothing, even though they really are nothing. <laughs> But anyway, guys, that is about it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you leave a like. We have one more episode of the series left. One more episode of the series left. Oh, it's crazy. It's going to be the champion. It's going to be AZ. It's going to be a blast. It's going to be a blast. I'm, I'm getting a little upset. I'm getting a little upset. I'm going to miss this series a lot. But hey, Pokemon Ranger Shadows of Elmy is coming next, guys. That is the next awesome series that's coming up. But hey, we got one more episode left. I'm hyped for it. We have an awesome team. We're doing awesome. It's it's awesome. It's great. It's all good in the hood. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.